I've started in 2001 establishing my independent research group and I've moved this group throughout the years uh, from universities in Germany to France and we are now located at ESIC in Tarragona carrying out research uh, for the last seven years. My group is particularly interested in uh, developing new amination chemistry which means that we are particularly interested in establishing carbon nitrogen bonds uh, for uh, molecular synthesis. This uh, in principle arises from our quest to develop uh, synthetic tools, particularly in the catalysis methodology research, to establish uh, new procedures uh, to bring about entities of pharmaceutical value. We have uh, particularly been interested over recent years to use homogeneous catalysis uh, based on transition metals and over the last five years have started to shift this interest uh, to conquer the field of molecular iodine catalysis. To establish this tool, we have uh, developed a concept that we have originally pioneered with uh, palladium transition metal catalysis and now pursued with iodine catalysis, which consists of uh, high oxidation state intermediates in catalysis, where we use uh, a high oxidation state intermediate to induce reductive elimination and to bring about the carbon nitrogen bond that we ultimately want to install. I came here in order to work with Kilian Muniz, uh, who is developing an interesting uh, amination chemistry. The first project that I work on was about intramolecular amination, and now I'm developing an intermolecular protocol. We consider this chemistry pretty interesting concerning natural product synthesis and for synthesis of building blocks. Since 2015, uh, we're investigating the so-called hoffmann lefler reaction where iodine is used as a catalyst to uh, cyclize compounds um, to get some uh, pyrrolidines as compounds, which are widely found in uh, natural products and also in pharmaceutical compounds. So in our last investigations, we, uh, we're using photoredox catalysts, which are metal-free organic uh, dyes, to perform the very same reaction under absolute catalytic conditions. As you see here, the two reactions with uh, different photoredox catalysts, which are initiated by a different wavelength of visible light. With this, we are capable of generating small molecular entities with particular interest for pharmaceutical chemistry, which has also led us to actively collaborate with some pharmaceutical companies to generate carbon nitrogen bonds.